What's up, family members and victims? Ace Threat here in today's video. We're we'll be going over every ability, perk, and grandpa ability on family side of things. So, if you don't know what to use or what's good in the game, this video should help you figure out what is good and what you should use, and also my recommendations. So, we're gonna start out with the perks. Uh, a lot of them are good, and we're also gonna be going over every unique perk. If you didn't know, every family member has a uh, few unique perks leatherface has five i think johnny has one but we'll be going over them in this video we're gonna start out with hysterical strength i think this one's pretty bad if you're going out for an all damage build i still wouldn't use this it's just when you're at 15 percent stamina you do 10 20 percent more damage at level three not really good slamming a door and a victim will deal 35 damage at level three not a bad amount of damage but in most cases they'll be slamming the door on you and you won't be slamming the door on them Blood Banker, I would use this on pretty much almost everyone on the family side. I think it's really good. Increasing your storage. So whenever you get a kill, you get a lot of blood and the extra storage helps. I just use this on everyone pretty much, including Cook, Leatherface, Johnny. Really good. This one, Blood Runner, I wouldn't use it. Your blood, stamina consumption is reduced by 15% at level 3 when your blood vial is more 50% full. I just, it's so little for a requirement. It's not good. Siphon, it's good if you want extra blood harvesting on a character. I Every character can do a blood harvesting build, so this one's really good. Siphon, confusing mechanic. I feel like it wouldn't be terrible if you still had to turn on the January every game, but since it starts off on, I, I never run this. Because just simply, during the technical test, the generator started off, but now it starts on. Just, I wouldn't use it. Down the rabbit hole might not be a terrible perk. I personally don't use it, but if you use it, I think this is one of the good perks that you could run if you really wanted it. After recovering from being stunned, your stamina recharges 80% faster for 15 seconds. Okay, it's you do get stunned quite a bit in this game, but I, I, I wouldn't run it. Your stamina already covers really quickly compared to a victim. Extra, extra stamina recovery when you get stunned, that's a big if. After being hit with a sneak attack, the attacking victim is highlighted for 9 seconds. Wouldn't really run this one either. Walking through Sissy's Poison Crowds boosts your stamina regen. This is a really big if. I wouldn't use it. Um, here's one of Leatherface's uniques. I would run it. Rough cut. Extra 1 damage over 7 seconds. So 7 extra points of damage for hitting a, a victim. Definitely would run this one. We have activated. After being stunned, you deal 20% damage for 40 seconds. You do get stunned quite a bit in this game, so if you do run this one, it's not the worst thing. It's better than this hysterical strength, so if you want to do an all-out damage build, here's one of them. Big swings. I wouldn't use this one. You get 15% more damage, but your attacks cost 200% more stamina. Not worth it. Especially at level 1, it is really, really rough. I just don't use this. I would instead use Feral, actually, because... You get seven more points of damage, and there's no downside. Uh, punishment after fighting a victim in a hiding spot. I have only pulled out, I can count on one hand how many victim, victims I pulled out hiding spots. I think hiding spots are pretty good, but no one is using them right now. I think this perk could come a, like be meta in maybe a few months once people realize hiding spots aren't that bad. This one could be funny for Bubba. You're immune to electrified cattle grids, and the generator starts with one pool. That pretty much means you can walk on electricity, so if someone's teabagging at the exit gate and then it's electrified, you could just run right through and maybe get a kill on them. This <laughs> this will be funny. I, I hope to get a clip with this. I Otherwise, I don't think it's good. If Grant is incapacitated, your damage is increased by 25% until it recovers. Grant Puzzle recovers really quickly, so I wouldn't use this one. A lot of people like incapacitating Grandpa, but not really worth running. And then we have receive 100% more blood when attacking victims. Okay, this one's pretty good, but you also got to think the characters that will benefit from this is Bubba, Sissy, and Hitchhiker. You, you aren't really going to get too many hits on Johnny and Cook, so I probably wouldn't run this on them. Otherwise, I think the three people I mentioned will be good. Universal Donor, I run this pretty much on everyone, so I would definitely, if you see this one, pick it up and use it have a nice blood gathering build especially on cook and johnny i think cook and johnny really use this well you can use it on hitchhiker you can use it on anyone 
Uh, Valent, your damage is increased by 20% when carrying a full blood vial. That's when you're carrying a full blood vial. It's a big if, and then you get 20% more. Not crazy. Uh, we have to scroll down for this one. Ch chickens won't generate noise if you're spotted. Does not affect victims. What? What's the point? They already know where you're. They already know you're close to them if they have a terrorist. So what's the point? Dinner bell. Whenever a victim's caught in a trap, so this is only when you are have a hitchhiker. They will be highlighted, and then the per perk holder will be have more stamina for 15 seconds. I don't get it. What's the point? It's a big if. After running out of stamina, there's 90% less delay before stamina regens again. This is if you are completely out of stamina. Doesn't really happen too often. I'm not the worst perk, but definitely one that aren't really worth running. There, you only have three slots. I think others really are worth it. Scout is a really good one at level three. You get 15% more movement speed, but melee damage is reduced by 10. I definitely recommend running this on Johnny. You could run this on Cook, but I did show this in my Cook build because that's kind of the best perk that was available. But if you're going an all-out blood build on Cook, then obviously don't run it. So, you can run this on everyone, really. It's just if you a matter if you're doing a blood build or not. But I definitely recommend maybe Johnny will be use this best, even Leatherface. We'll move on to the next one. While sprinting, stamina is decreased by 50%, but speed is reduced by 10%. Speed is really a great thing in this game, so... Yeah... Maybe I, I have never seen anyone use this. I, I don't I wouldn't use it tracker tag You highlight a, a victim to fam all family members once you hit them five seconds really good one I would use it if you are playing solo Unrelenting increased endurance if you want more endurance This is the perk for you and now we're gonna go to the other four uniques of Leatherface While revving your chainsaw you regenerate 60% faster of stamina. I don't get what's the point bloodlust does 30% more damage after executing someone at the gallows. Uh, good luck ever executing someone at the gallows. And if so, you are wasting a lot of time for a very small reward of 30% damage. I mean, 30% damage is really good, but if you're ex but the time commitment and it's a big if, it's not worth it. Carrying a victim will highlight, highlight it to all family members for 30 seconds. What's the point? It's the same thing. Trying to carry someone in this game is it's really difficult. You can instantly burst through the last door five times. Look, this one isn't too bad, but I really like the build I have on him. I wouldn't use this one. So now that we went through all these perks, we're going to continue on to the unique train real quick. We're going to go to Cook's Uniques real quick, and then we'll get over to the abilities. He only has security pins. These are really good. If if they're in your path, I would pick them up. It just makes them, makes your locks harder to lockpick. It takes them 50% longer. Not too bad, and you can pair it up with Nobody escapes hell to make the doors even take longer. Uh, Hitchhikers, uniques. This one where he traverses gaps is great for a chasing build. I think chasing is the most fun thing in this game. So if you want to go for a chasing build, you want to use that one. Uh, victims caught in traps take 1 HP of extra damage per second for 30 seconds. That is 30 extra damage. That is very, very, very powerful at level 3. If you are confident that you'll get traps that game... Use this one. A lot, a lot of damage can be left on the table if you don't use it. And then Johnny Healing has one unique one. Standing still will completely reduce your ability consumption. You need to run around to get value out of his ability. And now this one requires you to stand still. I not. Nah, don't use it. Don't use it. Sissy's unique. Efficient herbalist. I would use it. Poisoning an object has a 75% chance at level 3 to not consume any powder. Really, really good. And then I think she has... Oh, she has a few more. Your toxic class lasts 15 seconds longer and is larger. Uh, for a whole perk slot, I don't think this really does anything. You can increase duration on the ability thing, which we'll get to the abilities in this video. Your toxic cloud and poison items will slow down victims by 20%. That's pretty decent. Uh, if you want to go out for an all-out chase build and you want to use your power... You can slow them down by 20% for a long time. This could be very, very powerful. And then losing a close encounter automatically drops an emergency poison cloud, even if you're out of powder. Cooldown on it is 30 seconds. Was, I don't see this one being useful at all, so I, I wouldn't use it. 
think really quick we're going to just go with transition to grant abilities. Uh, using a family focus cooldown is decreased. Not too bad. Uh, would I use it though? There's better options, honestly. Or uses family's proximity warning range for victims. So I guess that means the yellow line around it, I probably still wouldn't use this because they're going to be on edge anyways. Minigame is harder. Yeah, I would use this on Cook and whoever. It's This one's not bad. Uh, well, well, well. Victims take 50% more damage. Really good on Sissy since the only counterplay is jumping down wells. Otherwise, not too bad. Increases chicken detection range very bad. Barging the first door. You're not going to get value out of this very often. I probably won't run it. Slightly increases melee damage for all family members. We don't know the numbers of how much is slightly, but more melee damage can't hurt between all your family members. Salmon is drained. It's decreased by 20%. I would rather more melee damage than this one. Great pods delay between sonars. Reduce that 20% at each level. So the key is at each level there, so you can get value out of this one. Would I run it though? Uh, I think there are better options. Exterior alarms, yes, is the best one in my opinion. Uh, close encounter may game is easier for 20% for the perk holder. So if you are the one bringing this, you'll have an easier time. It doesn't really help your team, so I wouldn't use it. Hurries the stamina consumption on melee attacks. I could see this one being useful also on Sissy since she needs a lot of attacks. Whenever Grapple's Sonar is activated, family members gain instantly regain 50 stamina. I think this one's really good, especially if you pair it with Excited Grandpa. I think this is going to be a nice little combo for having really solid stamina. And then Victims take 50% more damage jumping out of windows. This is really only good on Family House, otherwise I would never run this. So now that we went over the perks and abilities, we're going to also go over what path you should take for these. And this is the one I did for Sissy. I think this one's the best. You can poison the electronics. Uh, everything else is more damage or other pick up pick up locations i think this one's just the best for sissy we're gonna go over to johnny i don't have him maxed out yet but he's his is a really bad i might just go this route to here here and then here I'm, his abilities are really bad uh hitchhiker i'm gonna go making it harder to escape two times and then i go for all family c noise so it can be highlighted to everyone whenever they get in a trap cook i mean this one's pretty obvious you go with the uh, ability drain by 30 percent you get more range and then it highlights every the victim that you reveal to the entire family there is no downside to this this is probably the best ability in the game right here so definitely go that route and then lastly for leatherface to close out this video i just go with over heat reduction stalling resistance and instant activation i wouldn't blame you if you went uh stalling stalling and then instant activation I might even do that myself, so it's entirely up to you. And now, and that's it for this video. I hope you all learned something. Hopefully, I can clear clarify a few things, like what perk is good and what perk isn't. Uh, the best builds, I mean, I already went through all my characters, copied them. They're all really solid builds. I mean, I, I'll even go through the skill tree if you're really interested. And... I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you want more daily TCM content. I stream five to seven times a week on Twitch. Probably going to be changing that to at least six days a week. So here's all the skill trees. Hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day and peace.